This is an imaginary opening theme song. Theme song. Oh. So apparently the gaming community has a big problem and the problem is men. Oh, shock. I'm all like, well, no, no, but, <laughs> but not really. Uh, someone said something on Twitter and TikTok. It got a lot of attention. So we're going to check that out and see what they had to say, shall we? So this was posted a few days ago and it got like 18.3 million views by the time I'm recording this. So yeah, this got a, a lot of, you know, attention, we'll say. And let's see what they had to say for it, shall we? She wouldn't last 10 minutes in a COD lobby is not, nor has it ever been, a valid excuse for men to act like pieces of human garbage in gaming. I shouldn't have to play a game where all- COD lobbies are infamously known for being places that, you know, not everyone wants to be in because there's like a whole lot of stuff being said a whole lot of attitudes happening like th this is not the best example i would say because like everyone knows how cod lobbies are very toxic and all that like even most people that are in those lobbies know that you know they're probably toxic maybe stay away from that if you don't want to see that or, um, you know just a thought but yes let's keep going and see what she says all i say is hi and the whole game is thrown and I'm in hell for the next 40 minutes because mm -hmm. men are being emotional about it. That is not normal and that's not how the old COD days- I mean, it does happen though. It can be anyone saying anything like, sure, it might sound ridiculous that you saying hi made them throw the game. It does happen, you know, sometimes people just don't like how you sound and then they're all like, eh, I'm just gonna throw the game. Or sometimes they're all like, I didn't like that one move you did in the very beginning. And so I'm going to throw this game. Like, have you never heard of trolls? There's a lot of trolls in games. I'm just saying, you know. It's weird because I promise you, as a man, you have uh -huh. never had somebody throw on the basis of your gender. That uh -huh. Okay, apparently, again, like I said, COD is not the best example you should be giving here because the old COD lobbies were very toxic, filtered themselves out a bit, but it's still pretty toxic, okay? And yes, maybe, like, in the space of why are they throwing this game, uh, no guy has ever said to a guy, oh, you're a guy, so I'm going to throw it, because, I mean, they're, they're the same gender then. But they also say other stuff, like, you know, oh, I don't like your name, oh, I don't like how you sound, oh, I, I don't like what you did there. Oh, there's always a very long list of stuff that people always say to throw a game one way or another. It's never that they admit that, they're being bad at the game or anything? No, they're just all straight up, I'll throw this game because of yada 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 yada. And you know what you do for those people? You ban them and you don't think about them because like, meh, that's how they want to spend their time in a game that they're meant to play. That's up to them, you know? People can be uh, very weird, I would say. Doesn't happen. You can say it happens. Uh-huh. You're lying. I'm sorry. I don't know why that's such a common thing in the sure. comments of my videos. You guys want to be oppressed so bad that you'll look at a man calling me a telling me he's going to tell me to get back in the kitchen and say it's not a woman thing and say that that happens to you too. It doesn't. There's a reason that his- Like I said, there is a lot of toxicity that happens in games, especially in certain games and lobbies. And sure, the words not, might be the same that they throw to everyone because, believe it or not, there's a lot of words people can say to be toxic to others, okay? Like, for women, they have the automatic, oh, go back to the kitchen, I'm gonna go da 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 No one's saying these are good, right? But these are usually just the responses they have, so they don't even have to think about it. They just straight out say it, right? But there's also responses to other people like i said like if you're playing bad and it's like a higher rank game right like when i say higher rank like it could be like a gold game even in ranking right and then someone could say yo are you on your bros account you know is that why you play like trash and stuff again people will say whatever you know they have a, a lot of different stuff that they say but usually it's the same stuff just thrown to whoever they want to throw it at because you know some people just really like to be toxic and the reason why they're extremely toxic is because there's anonymity and all that and you know they know that you can't find them and stuff like that or you know they know that they're safe in their own uh, room that they're playing the game in right like even when people argue in internet cafes right we even see 
the clips sometimes surfacing and stuff like that, right? They're making fun of him and then he gets mad and the other person gets mad and they start screaming and yada 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 and then one walks away, one doesn't walk away, who knows, you know? But that's usually the level that they're at, you know? It's usually a scream fest and something like that. There are dangerous people, don't get me wrong, but for the ones that are very loud, just ban them, block them, and mute them. They don't have to think about them, you know? Historically, Male-dominated spaces are known for being toxic and unsafe. That goes for gaming, that goes for sports, any male-dominated space. Okay, so gaming, like I said, there can be toxic people. It just depends on the person, how they want to act, why they're being toxic, yada yada. They could just straight up be trolling and, you know, acting all toxic, but then be all like, haha, it was just a joke and stuff like that, you know? Eh? People have different sense of humor. Is it funny? Not really, but meh, you know, it is what it is. For sporting, though, yes, there have been incidences, right, when fans that get way too emotional or, you know, are act way too fanatic, right? They, they then cause a lot of riots, police have to get involved, they try to burn stuff down. Sure, sure, but that's not everyone that's supporting that team, okay? It's just some fans are just acting crazy and stuff stuff or they just act very uh, emotional and they're acting you know way out of proportion and sure just stay away from those people and you'll be fine you know like i've said this before as well like, i went to watch uh, a football match right in a cafe because my friend was insisting uh, they liked one team and then at the end of it right like everyone watched it it was fine nothing really happened but afterwards there was like a select group of people that were trying to go and beat each other up between both sides of the teams of the fans, okay? But that doesn't mean everyone was doing that. No, it was just certain people. So then they were trying to t uh, take us somewhere else to get away from them because, you know, no one wants to get involved with that. Like, sure, people can make spaces unsafe, yes, but that's not every single person. And if it is an unsafe place, just try to remove yourself from that unsafe space or just try to block, ban, and mute people. There is a reason why in competitive games, you know for sure there's gonna be a mute button, a ban button, a block button. You know, the gaming companies can't deal with all of the people that might happen to be trolls or might happen to be toxic and right and stuff so they let you take your own actions against people so you can feel better while playing the game it could be simply you're in like an overwatch lobby right and like everyone is talking there they're trying to actually like communicate with each other right it's going good and stuff like that and then there's that one person that decides they're gonna blast everyone's ears and then just make a very loud noise or something like that right what do you do then? You mute them. No one likes that kind of behavior anyway, so just get rid of it like that. Face is a bad one. That's not me being sexist. That is me saying there is an inherent issue with the way that you guys have your locker room talk uh -huh. that makes everybody else feel unsafe. I People always like to say locker room talk. It's the same with like movies. It's the same with TV shows. There's always this kind of mystical idea that guys have their locker room talks and then the locker room talks, they're being very aggressive. They're always like trying to go and hurt other people or something, you know? And then sometimes it's all like... <laughs> Yo, what's up? And then the other guy like, yeah, what's up? And then that's it. That, that's the entire locker room talk. <laughs> Can some talks be very toxic? It, yeah. Can some talks be just between friends and that if someone else heard it, they would not understand at all why they're using that kind of language, why they're saying that kind of stuff? Yes. You know, it just depends on who's talking with who and all that, you know? And it's not like other people don't have their talks as well. Like, you know what the equivalent is locker room talk is usually what they try to show is what is a sleepover talk for girls or powder room talk or the washroom talk for girls right 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 where they gang up on people and then they either say stuff or they try to torment and there's always examples you can give from any kind of situation i would say because there's so many people out there i don't know how you could possibly find it fun to make other people feel unsafe no woman <laughs> is asking men to make gaming a safe space with sunshine and rainbows and everything but could you please be normal because i want to be able to enjoy playing the game without my life being threatened without my body being threatened because i'm existing as a woman and men are the ones making it unsafe and i do not care if you feel targeted by me saying men or if you feel attacked by me saying men mm -hmm. you are part of the problem if you feel attacked by that you're part of the problem if you say just mute them 
you're part of the problem. If you sit there and let them say that to me and you don't intervene, you are part of the problem. Okay, first of all, no one needs to intervene with other people if they don't want to. And you don't have a right to even a call to action for someone to do it. Like, this just reminds me of, let's say, a couple is out on the street, right? And then they hear, like, an argument from way far away. Like, they can barely see them, right? And then the girl turns towards the guy and says, go and help. And then he's all like, huh? What? And then she's like, yeah, go help. And then he's very confused. And then they start arguing. Or, like, he's all like, oh, fine, fine, I can't deal with you. And then he goes and see what's the commotion and stuff like that. You think that wouldn't happen, but it does. It's more like people being nosy and stuff like that and that, those kind of situations. Like, if you don't know what's happening, why would you want to intervene, you know? Like, the only people that would intervene is mostly the ones that are, like, right there at the instance. But even then, they can choose not to intervene. Like, I literally saw a, someone, like, yell at someone, a busy street. And then when the lady wasn't getting a response from the guy, right, she then threw something at him. And that's when he turned around. And then when he did that, there was like a bunch of guys that then rushed to them. And then they tried to hold both of them back saying, you know, like, stop doing this. This is not right and stuff like that. They chose to intervene then. But also they didn't need to. Also, what do you want them to do? Like, you know what, how people feel when someone is being, uh, like, toxic and it's not a banter between other people you know how they feel they just either have already muted everyone so they don't even hear what's happening or they just like hear that something's going on and they just mute and just keep on playing the game or they just roll their eyes and then mute and then play the game simpler to do that than try to get into an argument with someone you don't know what's their problem you don't know what they're gonna say and also like why would you want to argue with someone if it's really not worth it you know, you're there to play a game, not to argue with people back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because I have a lot of male friends, normal male friends, who don't say slurs and don't threaten people and just play like normal. Uh -huh. I understand it, it's not all men. But if you are not one of the men doing this, it is entirely on you to help stop the men who are. If you don't understand that and you don't understand power imbalances and gender hierarchy, it's not my place to teach you. I'm not your mother. I'm not your teacher. Close the game for five minutes and educate mm -hmm. yourself. But stop making this a bad experience for everybody else who's just trying to play the game. I mean, I feel like a lot of words were being used as well. And stuff. And always, people like to throw educate yourself kind of lines out there. But, like, what does that really mean? Like, if you really want someone to uh, learn something, then just tell them what you want them to learn. Instead of telling them to go out in a wild goose chase. So with my own experience, I have seen people see how they interact with others. Like I said, if people don't like how other people behave, they just, you know, mute them, report them, they get on with their lives and all that, you know. People want to, like, swear at each other, go ahead, like, a lot of people do that anyways. Like, sometimes if, we'll say, a guy friend is next to me, right, and then we're talking and then they say, like, a curse word or something, sometimes they do apologize, they say, oh, I shouldn't have said that, but then I'm all like, I don't really care, you know, that's fine. I don't need you to say you're sorry, you can use whatever words you want, it's how you talk, you know, if I am very bothered by how you talk anyways, I would just, like, leave. I don't have to be there. You don't have to be there either. I mean, it is true that uh, guys will talk differently to guys than when they will talk when there's a girl present. That is true. Yes, it does happen. And then there are other times when you have certain banter with one friend, but then the other friend doesn't know what you're talking about, then you just try to talk in a different way, or you don't try to banter in front of them, or you just keep it for later, or you try to include them in the conversation. But I wouldn't say you need to fixate so much about how people should treat others like normal. Like I said, you don't know how the dynamics are between others. You know, you don't know what banters are and stuff like that. I've heard before that girls, they curse at each other, but because they're friends, it's all good. But if someone else were to come and say that word to them, then it's not good because, you know, of course they're not part of it. It happens. It's the same for guys. Like, you know, they could say whatever they want. They could be all like, blah, 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 and then blah, 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 blah. But then two seconds later, they're all chummy and they're laughing and stuff like that because that's their banter. It's not something that is uncommon to happen. And honestly, like I say, you shouldn't say that the people who tell you to mute is part of a problem because, like, that is a good advice. Just forget about them 
you know, like, chances are if you block them, you won't really get matched up with them anyways later on, so at least you can spare yourself from being with them uh, in another match as well if you're playing a competitive game, we'll say, right? Now, are there people, when you're playing games, like, even if all you tell them is how to better play, will they then throw the game? Yes, they will, because it happens. Like, sometimes people don't like others telling them how to play a game. They'll just throw it. Or sometimes people are just so, like, done at that point that if they hear one thing, they're all like, ah! But then at the end of the game, if it goes well and you guys turn around and stuff like that, sometimes they turn around themselves and they like, apologize for their behavior. They just like were very uh from all the other matches and stuff. And you're all like, yeah, no, no worries. It's fine. The gaming space is very interesting and you never know who you're going to come across with and who's going to say what and all that. But yeah, mostly the best advice is mute people from the start so you don't even have to hear what they're saying. Just try to play the game the, the best way you can and then if things go well things go well but yeah what are your thoughts on this guys let me know in the comments below and like the video and subscribe and i'll see you in another one bye bye for now